Jama Chancellor Angela Merkel called for national dialogue in Belarus, including Lukashenko, who has ruled for 26 years to find a peaceful way out of the crisis. The EU has been working on a new ground of sanctions against Belarus, targeting those involved in alleged fissing the August 9 votes and in the bloody repression of protests, which have shaken Lukashenko's grip on the ex-Soviet Republic as never before. EU Council President Charles Michel said this would lead sharply to a substantial number of individuals responsible for violence, repression and election fraud being hit with EU travel bans and asset freezes. Mikhail, along with Marco and French President Emmanuel Macron all had telephone talks with Lukashenko's close ally, Russia, to push for dialogue to end the crisis peacefully. It's like a question of life or death. So it's really important to, to protect our country and to make it really free because we're, uh, we're a good nation. We are not thinking about any violence, not thinking about anti-constitutional reform. It is our proposition for dialogue at its 100 million percent. Some of those council members were in power once. They were kicked out and hold a grudge. Others are outright Nazis. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that his country could intervene in the crisis and this week warned against unacceptable foreign interference in Belarus or pressure on its leadership. Ahead of the summit, Belarus opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, a 37-year-old political novice who fled to neighboring Lithuania after claiming victory in the vote, called on EU leaders not to recognize these fraudulent elections. Lukashenko's claim to victory in the election with 80% of the ballots sparked the largest demonstrations in Belarus since it gained independence with the 1999 collapse of the Soviet Union. Sharon Ajay reporting.